What up, what up? Molly is back, and the Diamonds Are Forever series continues. Uh, this time I've got a battle against Vincent Black. Uh, we're running the same team that I was testing out as last time. So feel free to check out the last battle I had with this team afterwards, or you can do it now, and then come back here. I'll leave a link to that. But uh, like I said last time, do not be deceived by the Gen 6 Pokemon sprites. This is a 4th gen battle, meaning there is no team preview. It's just that showdown replays don't show the gen 4 sprites for Pokemon if the match is old enough, which this one is. And I had this one back in 2013. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get into it. I'm leading with Azolf and my opponent's got a lead Dragonite. And I'm going to immediately switch to Heatran, fearing this to be the typical standard mixed Dragonite lead but it turns out to be a Dragon Dance set instead. I know that some people used to forget that you couldn't change your lead in DPP like you can in the newer games, and that's likely what happened here. But after seeing Dragon Dance, I get even more spooked and go to Gyarados to prevent getting swept by a possible plus two Dragonite. And my opponent instead switches out to reveal Suicune, which kind of confirms that Dragonite was not supposed to lead off. But I decide to go to Raikou since it's my direct answer to any Suicune. Gyarados did have Taunt, but using Gyarados to scout the set is very risky because if this was an offensive coal mine Suicune, it, I could potentially catch a Hidden Power Electric. My opponent reveals Substitute, showing it's actually a sub coal mine set. And we're gonna get into a bit of an exchange here for the next couple of turns. And I pretty much just have to go to work with Raikou and just pelt this Suicune with Thunderbolts. And I'll need to keep doing that until either of us are forced to switch out. Uh, the first Calm Mind does go up, uh, followed by a Substitute. And my opponent's actually going to end up going for the Surf here. So after breaking the sub, we're both actually going to end up pretty low on health. But I decide to stay in here since Raikou outspeeds. And my opponent is going to be forced to switch out. And he's actually going to reveal Shaman. And I land, I do get a crit on the Thunderbolt, which isn't too big of a deal, as you guys will see in a bit. And here I'm going to go ahead and reveal Obama Snow, just to get some hail going and tank the Seed Flare my opponent is, is going to go for. Because why not? Uh, the Seed Flare doesn't do much damage, but he does get the special defense drop which I would say makes up for the crit earlier because now I'm forced to switch out. But I'm going to go back to Azelf here. And this is where the, the crit wasn't a huge deal because my opponent is going to show the rest. So this is a very, very bulky Shaman. Uh, and it looks like it's very specially defensive. But I figured now is the chance to set up Stealth Rock as my opponent is going to switch out to take off the sleep. And sure enough he does and Heat Train gets revealed. Now Gyarados is my best switch in for almost any Heat Train. At least initially. So I'm gonna go to it. And this Heat Train is actually also carrying substitute. So I've, I'm inclined to actually break the sub with Waterfall here, so I'm going to go for the Waterfall and my opponent is actually going to reveal that Heatran is running one of the most annoying sets in all of 4th gen, Torment Train. I was really hoping this wasn't the case, but it's not too surprising as more often than not Heatran's carrying sub run this set more than any other at least in my experience. So I'm really going to have to play around this heat trend and pick my moves carefully because none of my other mons are necessarily great against Torment Train and you can't give this set a free turn to do what it wants. So uh, I let off with Dragon Dance and my opponent goes to work and sets up another sub. And I figure I need to DDS. So I could have enough power to break his sub with bounce since I'm not carrying Stone Edge or Earthquake. Uh, my opponent continues through the cycle with Protect to keep the sub. And you guys can see how this set can be almost any Pokemon 1v1. Uh, thankfully I am carrying Taunt. 
so I go for it here and I have to hope I just don't get burned by Lava Plume and I avoid it on the first one. So here I'm going to go for Waterfall to break the sub again and my opponent is going to go for a second burn attempt and does not get it. So now he's forced to switch out. Now because of this, I figured this is my chance to set up another Dragon Dance and go ahead and go to plus two and possibly get an early sweep going and my opponent's actually going to go back to Suicune to fodder it off as I get off the second dance. And there's no reason to go for bounce here because Hail's up and plus two waterfall easily one hit KO Suicune uh, from this range. So I do get the KO with the waterfall and my opponent is going to go back to Dragonite on the free switch. Now. It seemed a bit risky as I could still potentially carry Stone Edge. I didn't give off anything that would indicate that I didn't have it, which I don't. But anyway, I, I do go for Bounce here and my opponent uh, does show the Roost. And I come down on the Bounce here and I do a ton of damage to the Dragonite, but I just missed the one hit KO because I'm not running Life Orb. And my opponent manages to get off the Roost again. Now, this time, I'm just gonna go for the Taunt just to prevent any Roost shenanigans. But he shows that he's carrying the Dragon Claw on this Dragonite. The leftovers, in hindsight, pretty much gave it away. But this is a bulky Dragon Dance set that he's running and that was the other reason I missed the KO earlier with Bounce. But Gyarados cannot take another Dragon Claw, so I have to go for Bounce again. And my opponent does try for the KO, but misses out. Uh, knowing Gyarados is coming back down, my opponent is actually going to switch back to Heatran to fodder it off, as Dragonite could still be useful later on. But I'm going to get the KO here, thanks to that plus two. And my opponent's actually going to reveal a Machamp on the free switch here. Now, because of what happened earlier, even though Machamp was not in the lead spot, uh, it's pretty obvious that Bullet Punch is coming here. My opponent has no chance of getting the one hit KO without a crit though, so I just go for the Waterfall and a plus two, it's enough to KO Machamp, but the hail finally takes its toll and Gyarados goes down as well, so it's a double down. So Machamp was actually supposed to be the lead there. But anyway, another day at the office for Gyarados. Based on my, what my opponent has left and the one unrevealed poke, it's time to bring Raikou back in as it'll outspeed Dragonite most likely and one hit KO with the Weather Ball. And the same move will put a dent in Shaman, but my opponent reveals the last mod, which is Gengar. I had to switch to Dugtrio because Raikou is rash and nearly every Gengar in this gen runs Tib in nature. So Raikou is not going to outspeed it. Um, Choice Band Pursuit did have a good chance to one-hit KO Gengar there after Hail, but he got a crit on the Shadow Ball, which is going to force me to make some plays in a bit. So I brought Azelf back in and decided to U-turn back to Heatran after seeing Life or Recoil so I could tank the Shadow Ball. And now I'm going to double switch back to Azelf to tank the possible Focus Blast and try to get Gengar to go down uh, to Life or Recoil and Hail damage. But this turn my opponent actually reveals the substitute which since this Gengar is carrying life orb this actually confirms that this is a substitute pain, pl pain split set and seeing that my opponent is low on HP and its alpha is pretty high on HP I know he's gonna go for pain split here so I go for taunt since it goes through the sub and I do catch him on the pain split and here I make a pretty nice play and stay in predicting my opponent to focus blast predicting my switch and just Stealth Rock to fodder off the Zelf. My opponent did go for the Focus Blast and the Hail and the Life Orb Recoil uh, do take out Gengar. So Dragonite is going to come back in on the free switch here and I know I outspeed and I don't really need a Zelf anymore so I just go boom and take out the Dragonite leaving only Shaman left. Uh, this way Shaman can't just rest off all the damage that it takes and then just switch out to another mod. 
So I'm gonna go back to Raikou here to pelt this thing with Weather Ball. And Earth Power is gonna actually end up getting revealed here. Uh, Cause this, this Shaman is just super, super bulky. Weather Ball just, it's a two a KO, but it tanked it pretty well, given that it's a Raikou. But uh, Earth Power got revealed. The Shukaberry did allow Raikou to tank it, but not with enough HP to survive hail damage. So Raikou goes down, and because Shaman is low enough and it's specially defensive, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Obama Snow back in, and I pretty much have the game locked up. Uh, Ice Shard is a one-hit KO after hail damage unless my opponent goes for rest, and even if he does, I'm running Blizzard as well, and my opponent just ends up not prolonging the match and just seed flares out of the game. So, a pretty solid game. Thankfully, there was no Weather War to win because my opponent literally had the standard team of Fire, Water, Grass Core, a lead, though that got messed up, a Ghost, and a Dragon. Hmm, where have I heard that one before? Anyway, it turned out this was my opponent's first time playing BPP, but this was still a, a decent showing of playing around Torment Tran. If you have Gyarados anyway. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like what you saw, hit that like button just below the video. Uh, it helps me out immensely when you do. If you didn't like it, then hit the dislike button, but let me know in the comments as to why. And if you guys don't want to miss the future stuff coming down the pipe, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, links to all the social clubs I hang out at are in the description box below. Twitter, Google+, all that good stuff. Anyway, stay tuned for more, and until next time, Mulligan is out. Take care, guys. Peace.